Coach, this has now been your first full year as head coach able to recruit. So describe what this year has been like for you. Yeah, it's been great to recruit a whole class from beginning to end. You know, I think we've done a really good job of identifying, you know, the right people for the program and the right fit. That's what's really important for us is finding the right fit. And uh, we think we've done a great job. You know, we've done a great job in Ohio, but also done a great job from coast to coast. I remember Urban Meyer, when he talks about you as a head coach, the first thing he talks about is your recruitment. Has anything changed as you've changed posi positions in that area of recruitment? Uh, no, just, you know, just a different role, but, but certainly building a vision. And then the whole thing is we want to treat them when they're here the same way they're recruited. And that's a huge deal for us. And so we identify the right people. And it isn't necessarily, you know, uh, the greatest in one area, but it's, it's, the, it's a total fit. And making sure that they, when they come in here, the transition is seamless. You have four of the top 16 wide receivers in this class. How are you able to be so successful in that area? Well, I think it's an exciting time to be, you know, at Ohio State in, in a lot of different areas, but one of them is in the passing game. And I think if you're a quarterback, you know, we've, uh, you know, we've had two, two guys in a Heisman back-to-back -back seasons. You know, we've done a lot of things throwing the ball, but also we look what we've done receiver-wise in terms of developing the guys. And you look at what Terry did this year in the NFL. You look at the guys that came out this year, how they did in the Senior Bowl. And then you see the way our young guys have played. And so I think there's a lot of people throughout the country that are really excited about our passing game. And I know that you're part of that excitement, the way that you work with the quarterbacks in particular. I want to ask you about one of your recruits, C.J. Stroud, and why it was important to bring him here. Well, uh, in this class, we, you know, we really felt like we needed to bring in two guys. And so Jack and CJ both uh, are in here already. They're doing a great job. They just got done with their second match drill, so it's going fast for them. But, but you know, we, we needed to provide some depth in that room. You know, we kind of got, got away last year with not a bunch of depth. We'd like to have four guys on our roster. We do on scholarship this year. So that was really big for us. 14 early enrollees. I know 15 in all with a transfer. But just why is it so important to get these kids here so early? Well, it allows them to make an impact. And so, like, they're going through the winter workouts right now. They have mat drills. And then we go into spring practice. And they still have all that time as they lead into the summer before August camp starts. And when you have, that, like, really six months to get going, uh, it really makes a difference to get on the field. Because when you come in August, everything's new. You know, where you sleep, where you eat, where you go to school, your coaches, all those things. And by the time you get to August, if you came here in January, it's not new anymore. And so you can really focus on practice. And, and it allows you to play a little bit earlier. To get them here earlier, is that a part of the culture that you want to create to give them that extra time? Yeah, we, we say to everybody, it doesn't really matter. You know, Chris Olave came in at, in the summertime, you know, a year ago, and, and he played. James Sandler, Jamison Williams, there's a lot of guys who have done that. And uh, it's, we leave it up to their families. You know, we don't say that you have to come at mid-year. We don't, we don't say that you have to come in the summer. You know, we allow them to make that decision because – I also think people should have the right to go through their senior year and have four years. Uh, but if they feel strong about it, then, then certainly you know, we, we understand the benefit of it. And I want to ask, we talked about your recruiting and how you like to find student athletes who will fit in here. But how have you been able to be so successful and consistent, even when the coaches not, have not necessarily been consistent here and there has been turnover? Well, I think when you look at what we call our circle of care and what we do here for the student athlete and what Gene Smith's built and or Meyer built here before and just the resources that are provided here, it's unbelievable. But I also think when you walk in the building, there's a, there's a feeling here and a culture of, of love that – that people understand that you know we're going to take really good care of their sons. Now we certainly we develop and we compete for national championships and a lot of guys move on to the NFL, but it's more than that. You know, when when they come into the building, they enjoy being here and there's there's that, that sense of support that you know when you're leaving their family at home, they're coming into a new family, and it's something that I, you know from from the get go from from when I had the opportunity to take over, I wanted to make sure that everybody really embraced that. And uh, there are going to be assistant coaches that come and go, but as long as we keep that culture the way it is, we're going to have good things moving forward. And just overall impressions of this 2020 class. Uh, exciting. I think they're very serious about what they do. You know, we only have, you know, the 14 guys here, and so the rest of the class will come in the summer. But so far they're off to a great start. I told them that. I think that our future is really, really bright because of the maturity that they came in at such a young age. And, um, you know, going through their second match role today, I thought they did a great job. And um, so, I, again, I think the future is really bright. And I do just want to ask, you know, last time I talked to you around a signing day, it was your very first signing day that you found out you were going to become head coach. Explain the difference in how you're feeling now. Now, as opposed to then, because we were talking before, it was a whirlwind. It was quite overwhelming at first. Yeah, well, any, anytime you're at Ohio State, you're drinking through a fire hose, but the <laughs> fire hose is a little bit bigger at that point. And uh, we're just reeling and working from that thing. But, but still, no matter what, I mean, we're still going pedal to metal, still a lot going on. And we're excited to be getting ahead in recruiting classes. And um, so it's an exciting time to be a part of it. Coach, thanks for the time. All right, no problem. Thanks.